Hey everybody, my name is Kudem, welcome back for another video of Lost Judgment. We're continuing into the chapter 2 right here, right as we got caught by this little girl again. Once again, she caught us right in the act, and she managed to recognize us somehow. So now we gotta choose three between three different options. Refute her claim, so try to convince her. Literally surrender, or just flee the scene. You already know I'm gonna be. I might as well be a dumb asshole together. Like if I go a uh, dumb, might as well go full stupid, boys. At this point, let's just flee. Let's just leave this place. Like run away. Why ruminate when I can just run? Exactly. She can't outrun me. That would be a next uh, next level thing right there. There's no escape, sir. I have even more proof of your crimes. Oh really? Do you now? The camera may be gone. Fortunately, I snapped a photo of it before it got taken away. With that, I determined everything there is to know about your camera, down to the store where you bought it. Turns out it's an online exclusive, customized to capture high-resolution footage with an inconspicuous design. Were I to supply this information to the police, they would track down the owner soon enough. After all, the shop would have no choice but to cooperate with a police investigation. Uh, Tsukomo li likely covered his tracks well enough, but I still can't have the police involved. Well, I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm Do just gonna run away, please. Any further? You, monsieur, are ensnared. Therefore, I think it would be wise to do what I say. What do you... What do you mean to do what I... She's right. I might actually be best to not run for now. No, I want to run away. What the, what the fuck do you mean? No, I'm running away. Okay, so I guess I can't run away. Okay, so it's gonna say uh, do the same thing. So I cannot run away. Uh, flee, negotiate. Why don't we just negotiate? Why don't you just come work with me, and we can forget all all this mess? Uh, let's say we have a chat. A chat? Yeah. Now I can't give out any details. Having the cops on me would be extremely problematic. So, I'd like to resolve this as amicably as possible. Think we can come to terms here? I will agree to one thing only. Hearing the unadulterated truth. And I can't no tell you mistake, the truth. I will not be misled by diversion. Threats, bribes, sob stories. Nothing of the sort. Great. The one thing she wants is the one thing I can't give her. Have to find a way to negotiate here. Yeah, this is going to be really bad, boys. I just need her to lose the camera footage. Is there anything I could use as a leverage? Okay, let's focus right here. Let's try and find out maybe... What the? Oh, there it is. Is that it? The mystery research club. Is this their club fire? So this is what my inquisitor was posting here. What's it say? Um, it's in jeopardy. Our advisor is leaving. So I could literally be, the, be their advisor. Club president, that must be her name. Seeking outside sponsor. And this is in soliciting club members? Alright, so let's see real quick. So we may have been in four if you know anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some outside. This is exactly the, ing the angle I needed. Exactly. I wanted to be an advisor in the first place. You're Kyoko Amasawa-san, right? The president of the Mystery Research Club? So what if I am? I saw your flyer. Sounds like your club's in a tough spot. You're not wrong. Our current advisor got married and quit teaching, and we can't find anyone else to take her spot. On top of that, the chairman's been reluctant to bring in anyone from outside, so the MRC may be in dire straits. But your arrival marks our revival. Should I turn you in as a voyeur, it would make a fine feather in my cap. It would also prove the value of the MRC. So the chairman would have no choice but to solicit an advisor for us. Well, that all sounds fine on paper, but the real life logistics may not play out that way. You'll need a competent professional in your area of interest. But you think they have time for volunteer work? When you put it that way, it does seem like a long shot. Right? So here's my proposition. How about I become your club advisor? How about I offer the club some funds? Really? No, I want to kind of become the advisor. I like this girl. She's smarter than me, man. I I'm stupid as bricks. I'm dumb as bricks. So if she can go with me, do some missions from time to time, 
she would be the one that's solving everything. How about you make me your advisor? You? Advise the MRC? Why not? A Kamurocho-based detective not good enough? Uh, you're a detective? Oh yeah. I'm Takayuki Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. I was asked to come investigate your school. That's about all I can let slip. <sighs> so then, the hidden camera was for your investigation? I'll let you deduce that yourself. Client confidentiality and all that. But I will say one thing. I'm here to stop shady business, not start it. If he wasn't shooting up skirts, then what was he trying to see? Rather, who was he trying to see? Who put him up to it? Our staff? Ugh, so many variables! <laughs> Listen, I don't mean to interrupt, but... Hello? As I was trying to say, becoming your advisor could work out well for both of us. I'm not done here by a long shot. One of your teachers is bent on seeing me gone. Really? Who? Sawa-sensei. She thinks I have no business being here, and frankly, it's been hard to prove her wrong. But, if I were to advise your club, it'd be all the reason I need to stay on campus. So what do you think? It's a win-win situation, wouldn't you say? Oh, and if it's experience you want, believe me, I've been around the block when it comes to mysteries. I... I believe I understand. The purpose you stated for being here does fit the circumstances better than my original theory. But I will not be persuaded so easily. So, I propose a test. A test? Test on what? This way, please. What type of test? What do you mean? Hey. Wait, where are you leading me right now? Is this a trap? What type of test is she gonna lead me on? You do know I'm, even though I'm a detective, I'm stupid, right? You're smarter than me, my girl. Uh, you made a, a fine detective. I'm just uh, lucky to be a detective. That's the difference. Don't test me uh, with my brains. It's not gonna work. Look at this place. Is this your uh, little uh, agency room? Who's this, sis? This is Yagami Sister, okay, you're with your brother, I guess. However, I intend to test him first. See if he's legitimate. Hmm. <sighs> Fine by me. I'm Kento Amasawa, Yoko's younger brother. Also the MRC's bodyguard. When your sister's as nosy as mine, you've got to step up your game to keep her safe. Please have a seat, Yagami-san. Am I getting out for the job right here? Am I literally being interrogated for the job? That's crazy. After you. Oh, how kind of you. <laughs> These guys are really uh, professionals. So, I look like a I look college. like a real dumbass compared to them. All right, so ask about the mystery research club. Ask about the test. I'm gonna ask about the club. Could you tell me what the mystery research club actually? Does? It seems like the advisor ought to know that. <clears throat> so, I founded the Mystery Research Club last year. Primarily, we function as a book club, critiquing mystery novels from many different cultures and eras. But, when the opportunity is right, we also engage in more involved activities. And by that, I mean solving the mysteries around us. Oh, you mean go sleuthing, like on a case. So that's what you were up to. I've got to say, as a potential advisor, I'm not exactly psyched to hear you go around looking for trouble. Oh, don't get me wrong. We don't do this for kicks, and I'm not a fan of danger. If we could all be armchair detectives, free to investigate from afar, surely that would be ideal. Yeah, don't I know it. Unfortunately, that is rarely, if ever, possible. Say our investigatory senses were to draw us toward a mystery that escapes even the school and the police. Why, letting such a case slip away would be anathema to our club's founding principles. While I do admire your passion, why put yourself at risk? You'd be safer handing it off to the authorities. Then shouldn't we hand you off to the authorities? Well, no, no let's not be hasty. I take it you see my point then. 
Some cases aren't so cut and dry. You make some valid points. All right, so what about the test itself? So I like I really like this girl. She's a really smart kid. So I, I really like her. What you've told me, I'm inclined to drop your charges altogether. A detective setting up cameras is believable. That being said, I'd also be a fool to take you at your word. If this is a ruse, I'd be unleashing a pervert on the school. Well, the caution is admirable. Then you shouldn't mind if I test both your skills as a detective and your character as a person. And once that's over, the club will reach a decision. We'll either accept you as our mentor, or turn you in as a deviant. I get the picture. So what does this test entail? Actually, we've been dealing with a rather risky case as of late. So your job is to resolve it. Oh, she wants me to resolve oh, a case. Talking. Okay, for free. Though I'm, ba I'm basically doing stuff for free, boys. Interesting. Uh, ask about the risky case, then. Well... It's about as risky as it is risque. Yagami-san, have you ever heard of a sugar baby? Sugar baby? Okay. You a younger girl getting paid to date an older guy? You know it. Now our current case involves one such sugar baby. It seems that one of our dance club girls has grown a reputation for dating older men. Unfortunately, I have yet to pin down exactly who this is. All you know is she's in dance club? Well, I understand why you'd want to know more, but what about this warrant's investigation? Is she in danger? The issue at hand is that she may be doing more than dating, and it's putting her safety at risk. Well, we found this out online, so we're admittedly speculating a bit here. But apparently this girl's pretty infamous for what they call her vanishing act. Okay. Hmm. Care to elaborate? She strings the mark along, going on a few dates for an agreed-upon sum, but then she goes in for the kill. She gets a large upfront payment for promising to seal the deal, and then, poof, gone with the wind. Okay, I can see how that might make her enemies, but that's on the guy, isn't it? I mean, he's paying to date an underage girl, and he thinks he has the right to complain? You're not wrong. Problem is, her latest mark, a violent, foul-mouthed thug, isn't so self-aware. I believe rape and murder were his choicest threats. So yeah, we can't just write this one off. Oh, that's a yeah. serious, that's, that's a serious uh, thing right there. Mm -hmm. And now he has his gang roaming the streets, searching high and low for the girl who conned him. I'd say that establishes the risk clearly enough. As soon as we found out, we've been trying to find the sugar baby and warn her ASAP. Yeah, I get it now. If we don't act, she could be in very real danger. I think we're finally seeing eye to eye, Yagami-san. After all, the truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur. That's not quite how it works, but sure. Yeah, that's not how I work. Uh, that's not how I work, that's for sure. All right, begin the test. Let's try it out. In any case, uh, now that the situation we gotta convince clear, that like girl though to test. not be a sugar baby in the first place because to start, at, be at at that age, it is said really? That great Sherlock Holmes That's pedophilia, boys. I don't know about that one. That of a total stranger, from helpless old woman to shifty-eyed vagrant, he deceived the masses and never lost a lead, all thanks to a good disguise. So you want me to go undercover? Yep. Any detective worth their salt should have no trouble with that. Are you seeing me right now? You're going to infiltrate How do you want me to be undercover? And return with a lead on the sugar baby. That is your test. Wait. You want me to teach a dance club? If it's required, then yes. I want you to win their hearts in ways I myself could not. Those girls are a close-knit group. They'd never trade gossip with someone like me. However... If a cool new stranger gained their trust, that's you, they might be more willing to talk. But how am I supposed to be a convincing advisor if I've never danced once in my life? That's okay. It's rare for their advisors to get up and do it themselves. They generally teach from a book. Oh, great. If it's any consolation, their current advisor never even shows up. So you'll already have an in. Just but it's better than that somebody not showing up. Authoritative and soon enough, you'll be their closest confidant. Easy peasy. 
Easy peasy. To teach something I know nothing about? I'm sure you can figure that out. That is, if you really are a detective and not some snaky imposter. <sighs> You're really putting me through the ringer, you know that? I guess I'll have to prevail with the power of vague advice. Good, then let's move. The dance club will be starting their practice any minute. They're in the gym basement, in case you didn't know. I'm teaching a bunch of curls how to dance. Oh, that's just great. So good luck. Huh? Oh. And how? Okay. I don't know how that's going to turn out, boys, but this game... <laughs> I love this game. How ridiculous it is. It's unbelievable. Uh, watch out, girl. Yo, I'm nearly... How the fuck is there a sugar baby case? In a school like this, I don't know, boys. It is a private school, after all. But still. I mean, these are kids. I don't know what age they are. They look a little bit like they maybe might be like 16 or 17 or something. They're definitely not adults. So, uh, I don't know how it works in Japan. Or in Korea or whatever. I'm not sure how it works over there for schools. But over here at that age uh, in Canada, uh, you would probably be in college or something like that. This is a high school. So if it's a high school, that means they're 14 or 15. If there's a sugar baby girl in uh, at 14, 15 years old, I wonder what's going to happen to her once she becomes an adult. She's definitely going to become a prostitute, boys. I, It's already not going good for her. Uh, uh, she's not doing the right choices here. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. This is very bad indeed. And I'm not sure why the school itself is not taking any precautions on that. Like, seriously? This is a serious, uh, serious thing right now. Hmm. Where's the captain? Uh, right there. <sighs> Something's not right. I feel so out of it. Sayaka Nishizono, I'd like a word with you. Hey, aren't you... Amasawa from the Mystery Research Club? You betcha. Don't worry, I come bearing good news. Oh great, the MRC. <sighs> what do you want with us? We're not up to anything. Calm down, I'm not here to expose your secrets to the world. I only wanted to introduce you to someone. What are you getting at? To preface this, I noticed your club advisor hasn't been showing up much lately. Yeah. Apparently, he got really sick. We're lucky if we see him a couple times a month. Right, and it must be rough trying to choreograph an entire routine without him. Yeah, and we've got a meet coming up soon. It's so much pressure. I see. Then the stars really did align in your favor. Um, what? Listen, Senpai, I know we might seem desperate, but it's not like we need any favors. Look, I, I think I'm here to help you dance. You know, I don't know how to do it. As a token of goodwill. A potential advisor? <laughs> Let's not sweat the small stuff. The important thing is, Yagami-san here said he'd agree to help you with your routine as a stand-in advisor. Help with their routine? When did I ever say that? Oh my gosh, really? This is just what we needed. You know... I can tell you had a certain something about you. Do I? So how long have you been a pro dancer? Uh, well, I've been a pro dancer. <gasps> oh, so modest. This is like yeah, yeah, let's go. Modest. We're supposed to be undercover, dude. I know we're stupid, but let's not be overly stupid. Routine. Come on now. Oh, I'm so glad that's on you now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. I'm missing some important qualifications here. Yagami-san. Yeah, I mean, come on, dude, play the part for Christ's sake. Head first into the challenge. Don't you get it? Uh, no. Um, do you think we can get started? We've been practicing and practicing, but something about our choreography feels off. We all know our moves, and everybody's got rhythm, so all that should be left is bringing our A game. But it feels like we're still missing something, you know? That. Wow factor. Well, I'm not sure I'm that wow factor, but uh, we'll find out, I guess. I know we'll push through if we try. Uh -huh. So can I ask for your first impression? Does our routine need more going on, or...? 
Uh, you know, it's hard to say what's going on at this point. I shouldn't have to say this, but keen observation is elementary for a detective. Yeah, well, I'm not a very good detective, as you can see. I'm very bad at my job, so... Being a dancer is even worse. It's already started. Great. Alright, let's find out. Are they good at what they're doing, I guess? Observation. I mean, they seem fine. But I better start winning over uh, uh, Amasawa. Time to wait uh, wait in my uh, honest opinion. Alright, so certain conversions, conversations and events won't unfold without your direct input. Timed selection. What do you mean? Choosing to select nothing or remaining silent can also be an answer. The speed in which you make your choice will not affect the outcome. What the fuck? Okay, I don't know how that works, boys. Make a bigger impact. Work on your timing. Work on your timing. Yeah, just work on your timing. Could use a bit more coordination. Something's off about your rhythm. Really? I thought they were all pretty synced up. Uh, yeah, rhythm's actually one of our strong points. Well, work it better, damn it. Well, you know what, then? I'm your advisor here. Oh, there we go. Let me take another look. All right, well, what's the problem then if it's not the rhythm? Do something unexpected, spice it up. A bigger, bigger impact. Do something unexpected. You know, something unexpected. I think that would be so the the, music's the, the way to go. Choice, music, not a bad choice. But it'll take more than your average dance mix to stick in the audience's minds. Have you considered traditional Enka? Nobody'd see that coming. Uh, enka? Well, it is old school, so dancing to it might be innovative. Uh, but we can't just start over with a new song after all the hard work we put in. They have the rhythm, they know their moves, but what they lack is prep time. She told you all that, remember? Besides, it'd be demoralizing to make them reset everything this late in the game. Yeah, demoralizing. So that wasn't it. Then how about, uh, I guess, spice it up. Like, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with your thing. I'm out of options routine. here, boys. Maybe you could spice it up a bit. Uh, spice it up how, exactly? You mean like we need skimpy outfits? Or like we dance all provocatively? What part of this is a high school don't you get? How would you be able Hold on, dude. Sometimes I, I know, all right. It's not giving me a right scene for the pervert thing. All right, I guess they got to make a bigger impact, whatever that means. It's the same thing as spicing it up. I don't know what, like, I, I don't know what's going on. Could use a little more flair. Flair? How so? Well, you're already in perfect sync, and everyone knows their part. But, uh, how to put it? You were right. It needs something that's going to leave a lasting impact. I see what you mean. Maybe we are just kind of going through the motions here. If only we could come up with better stuff. Oh, maybe you could give us some suggestions. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Suggest I don't even know how to dance. But I don't know I, if I didn't go through this somehow, I would back at the whole pervert thing. Yeah, exactly. Let's so I got to do it. Could give you the edge you need. What, what if you sing while dancing? No, that's not the part. That's not the, the whole idea is to not sing. What if you threw in some kung fu? What the hell? What if I... What if you didn't dance at all? <laughs> what if, boys? Uh, what if you didn't... You did the robot? Uh, I, I don't know about that one. But what if you didn't dance at all? How about that? That's, a, that's kind of like a, a, a strange move. What if? dancing all together you want us not to dance at a dance contest yeah just stand there and cross your arms it'd be high art a real statement uh yeah in the worst way possible and even if that did work that's no way to win a contest each their own i guess well, in that case okay well i guess if you don't if you do want to dance uh how about some kung fu why not incorporate Kung Fu? Uh, did you just say Kung Fu? Sure did. 
Throw a few kicks and punches, and I'll knock the competition right out. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. And it's not like martial arts-based dancing is entirely unheard of. But we don't know the first thing about Kung Fu. Well, you're well luck. good thing Kung for you. Happens to be a I'm a, an expert in Kung Fu. <gasps> no way! That's so cool. Well, it's my own style. You won't find it in any ancient scrolls. It's flashy. <laughs> Perfect! So will you teach us? Sure, I'll teach you the Kung Fu. <laughs> I'll teach them Kung Fu, boys. What the hell? Let's see some ass-kicking dance then. Wait, really? I really have to do this? Of course. How else are we going to learn? Look up some random videos? We'll get to analyze your moves, your footwork, your breathing. We'll learn from the pro. All right, then. Learn from me, then. But what if my stuff doesn't fit your routine at all? So... You're not gonna help us after all? That's pretty weak. If you're giving up after stringing them along this far, hang tight while I dial 110. Yeah. Hold it. Come on, my guy. I guess I have no choice. You know what? I think I can wing it well enough. I've never done this before, though, so don't get mad if it's crappy, okay? Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. You're gonna do fantastic. Damn it, am I really about to do this? Yes, you are, my guy. Stop being a pussy and do it. Okay. Come on now. What we'll do first is show you the opening 30 seconds of our routine until the chorus hits. While you're watching, keep an eye out for the parts that could use some kung fu moves. Sure. Good plan. Okay, so here's how we start. I like how we're doing dancing routines now. It's like, what the fuck am I doing right now? In there. Now you take it away. Whoa. Doubt I can top that. But you know what? May as well try. That's a spirit. Ready for the music? Alright, let's try it out. Let's try some dancing, boys. So, overview. You can play a rhythm game at the dance club. Lesson. Before you begin the dance lesson, select one of Yagami's EX solos. So, I gotta select the uh, which one I want, boys. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No. Okay, stop it. Okay, so that's an easy one, I guess. They, they made me choose this one on purpose, I guess. So, okay, okay whatever. Go. We're going to choose this one first. Just because I, I guess I have no choice here. Uh, so, press this, this, and that. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck? This is like... Oh, shit. This is like Dance Dance Revolution, boys. Yo. Uh, what? We're playing Dance Dance Revolution all of a sudden. Yo, sh chill, please, game. Yo. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Dance Dance Revolution in this bitch. Yeah, okay. Can you not do that while I'm nearly... Okay. These tutorials. Look at this shit. I'm going off. Some Dance Dance Revolution bullshit right there. What the hell is going on? Oh, let's dance extra easy. So that was easy. That's a Ness. Yo, what is this? Ain't that something? <laughs> They're like, he's a genius, he's a master at this shit. Yes, I am. Apparently, I'm the master of Dance Dance Revolution, boys. Believe me, I'm just as surprised as you. Winning is part skill and part pulling out of your ass. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta improvise. Ah, don't put it like that. Come on now. Totally a born dancer. Am I? I don't know about all that. What you call a gift, I call muscle memory. Well, whatever you call it, we're gonna use every last bit of it in our routine, if that's okay. <laughs> you seriously saved our necks just now, Yagami san. Hey, I'm just glad it all worked out. Um, if it's okay to ask, could you drop by and give us more pointers sometime? Ever since our advisor I could, I guess. I am the advisor after all. And we could all use some guidance from someone we can trust. If you guys will have me, then sure. Not sure I have many pointers left. Hmm. Oh, you're the best! I think it's time we headed back now, Yagmi-san. Huh? Oh, sure. 
so tired. That was easy. I'd say I made plenty of headway with the dance club. Indeed you have. Honestly, I'm still in shock over how easily you won Mishizono-san over. Like she's easy to uh, to figure out, I guess. Just dance one time and she's up here happy about it. Gee, I wonder why. I'm sure the MRC has gained some notoriety. Well, all the more reason we need an amazing advisor who can keep up with us. Oh, I'm amazing now. Does this mean I'm no longer a criminal? Yeah, I really should apologize for that at some point. Also, I have another theory as to why you installed that camera. Yeah? Let's hear it. So, a higher detective shows up to covertly monitor a specific group of students. Meanwhile, spreading through the news like wildfire is the case of Akihiro Ehara, a man connected to our school. Put those pieces together, and your objective here starts taking shape. But, I wouldn't want to hamper any important detective work of yours. So for now, I'll let that theory sit. Yeah, just let that theory sit already. She's really sharp. I guess she's president of the Mystery uh, Research Club for a reason. Yes, she is. At any rate, Yagi-san, I'll go ahead and let the chairman know of our arrangement. That is to say, I'll formally request you as our advisor. Well, that'd be great. But do you really think they'll hire me just like that? Sure. So long as you're officially considered an outside guidance counselor, I don't see why not. Also, we do need another faculty member as a supervisor, but that's more of a formality than anything. Their only responsibility is signing the paperwork. You'll still be the one running the club. Our school makes you jump through a lot of hoops just to be welcomed as a guest, huh? Yeah, sounds like they won't let in just anybody. Anyway, is there a teacher you had in mind? Yep, no worries there. The chairman actually promised to sign off on whoever we chose. Well, I made him promise might be a bit more accurate. What? Really? Man, I wish he'd told me. He told me the club's already had advisors and left it at that. Typical. I doubt he wants to actually keep his word. After all, if we get into trouble, he'll be directly responsible. He probably thinks the MRC is a big enough liability as it is. <laughs> I wonder why. Well, with all that said, Welcome to the Mystery Research Club. Can't wait to see a real detective in action. Hey, you'll get your chance. And it's a pleasure to be on board. Hey, what do you know? I'm part of a new agency, boys. Oh, when you have a spare moment. Could it's kind of cool. I like playing with... Like, I, I think I'm gonna... I'd like I'm gonna stick with her a lot. What, you've got something besides the sugar baby? Yes. And this one may actually be even nastier. In fact, What's nastier than that? Maybe maybe but a single thread amidst a larger, more sinister web of conspiracies. But that's a lot to digest, I know. I'll get you up to speed when you're free. Okay. Not quite sure how to process that right now, but I'll make sure to swing by at some point. Alright, so about school stories. Uh, uh, Amasawa has agreed to let the Yagami act as the MRC's advisor. It seems like there's more delinquent activity that meets the eye at the high school. In order to unveil this activity, Yagami must infiltrate certain sub-communities within the school. Immerse yourself in various activities at the school, get friendly with the students, raise your, uh, your leadership and solve the student issues. Uh, school stories are separate from the main stories, so feel free to play these at your leisure. Perfect! Uh, about your leadership, raising Yagami's leadership allows you to access and progress through new school stories. Accomplishing tasks in various stories will grow different facets of Yagami's leadership. If you can make it uh, any headway into, in one story, you may be able to trigger the next one by progressing another story. Okay, good, good enough. So these are basically side quests that I can do in my own free time, which I will. Uh, definitely do those. I feel like they were going to be uh, very fun to do, especially with that girl. I finally got my in with the school. Now I can ask around about Mikoshiba without getting the boot. Apparently he was tied with the basketball club. Being a former member that comes as no surprise. Now where do the, uh, where do the basketball players go after school? To the gym of course. Uh, I'm gonna actually do the MRC in my own free time. I'm gonna end the, uh, end the video right here. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.